I want to talk uh, briefly about uh, Godridge AgroVet and through that your own sense about how the agriculture economy is uh, performing in the country. We've seen uh, a sustained effort uh, at the state level, at the central level, uh, but agriculture is a sector that sort of uh, takes time to influence through any policy. What's your own sense? One of the problems is the climate change is affecting agriculture pretty badly. The other big factor is the government is doing a lot of very positive things. The oil palm policy is something that's going to have a huge impact. We have an oil palm business mm. and uh, we have made it into a very sustainable oil palm business. Another good thing is we have our Samadhan centers where we work very closely with our farmers. We try to make them at the same time more efficient and more sustainable. We do soil testing. We advise them what fertilizers to use. Overuse of fertilizers causes wastage and pollution. If you carefully test, make the right recommendations, recommend regenerative agriculture, soil health. We give them material from our own palm oil waste to put organic matter into the soil, which means that carbon is sequestered and the soil health improves and productivity improves. This is a win-win. Where we have a close connect with our farmers like oil palm, it's very easy to do, but there are ag tech companies who are capable of doing that in, uh, with any farmer. And uh, India suffered from the lack of scale. But now that's irrele irrelevant because we are no longer in the scale economy, we are in the network economy. And there is no reason why our small scale farmers cannot be networked, advised, become highly productive, and then agricultural productivity will rise and sustainability of agriculture will be much better. And I'm really looking forward to that. One of the uh, things about you, and since you mentioned scale, I want to take that up. You, uh, uh, your company is one of the biggest players in the animal feed uh, space. Um, offer us some more details. How is that doing and uh, w what are the expansion plans uh, in this regard? Right. Now, uh, animal feed uh, and animal husbandry has come under attack because it is seen as being wasteful, seen as not being sustainable. Cows do a lot of uh, emission of methane, but all these problems can be solved. We have a new breed of cows which are very high yielding and surprisingly it turns out that because they are high yielding and we have made very efficient feeds with bypass protein, therefore for the same amount of milk you have to feed less material. So because of this efficiency and because of the high yielding cows, uh, sustainability has improved tremendously and it's important for animal husbandry to focus on sustainability. Sustainability means less wastage, therefore lower cost and less harm to the environment. And unless we ensure there's no harm to the environment, we will be disrupted by, uh, we will be disrupted by other kinds of protein. Whereas we have the capability of making cheap, affordable, sustainable proteins. I was looking at the share price and the year-to-date performance shows that uh, you are back above your one-year level and as far as six months is concerned, quite a, a significant recovery from uh, 450 plus odd uh, to this. What, um, how do you think the company can grow uh, given the size of the market? What are the plans in this regard? Well, for oil palm, we are importing 10 million tons of oil palm. And uh, Godridge AgroVet produces about 120,000 tons of oil palm. So the sky is the limit for expansion. The only constraint is land. And mm. with the government's new policy, more and more farmers are being encouraged to plant it. We are also arranging for financing. They have to wait five years till they get their yield. But with the help of financing, and SBI is helping us in a financial plan, uh, we can uh, finance these farmers till their yield. They can also do some intercropping in the first two years. Plus, as the trees grow, they can sell carbon credits. We will try and help them with that as well. Uh, so uh, the challenge in oil palm is to get over those first five years with loans, with carbon credits, with intercropping. If the farmers get past that time, their later income is far higher than they could get from any field crop.